Hi, I'm Chef Scardino. Welcome or welcome back to GoGarrettCounty.com. We're no strangers to making videos for Go Garrett County. Last year we made an instructional cooking video series. This year we have collaborated with local farms creating recipes for Harvest Hub meal boxes. And now we're doing something totally different, the recipe challenge. So this is Joey and this is Noah. Today we're doing something totally different. Our initial plan was to take three recipes and create one dish from the Go Garrett County website. That wasn't challenging enough for us. I want to challenge myself and my students to do something different. Last month, a former student of mine, shout out Sam Jones, who works at Hop Alley Restaurant in Denver, visited my class. He showed my students and myself how to make Chinese dumplings. So today, to challenge ourselves, we're going to see if we can make those dumplings again and show you how to make them as well. This is everything you'll need to get started. I'm just kidding. You don't need as much as you think to make a traditional pork dumpling. The key to a good dumpling is simplicity and quality ingredients. So let's get started. Now, like I said, the first thing to a quality dumpling, and this is what my former student Sam Jones told me, is quality product. And we have some quality product right here. We got this uh, ground pork from Backbone Farms from Catherine. Thank you so much, Catherine. Uh, we're really looking forward to use this. Um, and then we have some green onion that we minced up. This is some minced ginger. That's minced garlic and this is minced ginger and we're going to add this to the dumpling mix. But first, do you add egg? Some people do, some people don't. Sam showed us not to use egg, he said it's really up to you. So I think we're going to add egg to this today since I have these beautiful eggs uh, from Allison from Honeymoon Farms. Beautiful. So we always keep our pork on ice so it stays cold, but right now uh, Joey, will you get me a fork, please? We're gonna whisk up. We'll probably use about half this egg, okay? So uh, we're gonna whisk this up, and I'm just gonna have you slowly incorporate this. Now, you don't, the first thing you don't wanna do is just smush it and smush it and smush it, because it'll just turn into a paste. So you gotta kinda gently incorporate it in there. So we're just gonna add a little bit of this egg. Not necessary. Okay, Joey, will you get that out of the way for me, please? And then, now look, the dipping sauce is going to have soy sauce. Soy sauce is salty, so you have to be very mindful of salt. Now what we're gonna do is season a little bit and then try out a little bit and just cook it before we put it into the actual dumpling. So I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of kosher salt, not too much, a little bit of pepper, and then Joey, I can add this. Joey, get us one of those spoons. And let's add all this garlic. You can just grab that, scrape that in there. And then this is about two tablespoons of ginger. We'll put a recipe, but remember, I know this is a recipe challenge, but recipes are just guidelines, okay? We'll put the amount somewhere here so you can see them, but that's really they're all there is to this. Now Noah's gonna stir this up with his hands. And you can use a spoon or something if you want to. Just get it all in there. And here's the thing. We have ginger, we have garlic, we have scallions in here. So we wanna make a dipping sauce, but you see people putting that in the dipping sauce as well. I, I don't really see the point because that's two of the, of the same flavors. So we're going to do a little bit of soy and yes, a little bit of sugar and uh, some Thai bird chili. So once we get this mixed up, we'll get back and show you how to do those dumplings. We got everything added. Noah mixed everything up. So now what we're going to do is just bake a little ball and we're not, we're going to put it into the water and test it and see how it tastes. Some people will fry it in a pan, but I don't think that's the best way to do it because really the texture should be the same as it is in the dumpling. So we're just gonna boil a little bit, tasting it for seasoning. And remember, your sauce is gonna be saltier, so don't be heavy handed with the seasoning. All right, let's go. So it's important to remember, you wanna bring your water to a boil and then have like a hard simmer. You don't want a rolling boil because it'll just tear everything apart. It's gotta be somewhat gentle with your test that you're making and when you cook the dumplings or boil the dumplings as well. Shouldn't say boil, simmer. So now if you look right here, um, it's a good test. It's like, it's kind of like, how do I know when my test 
dumpling meat is done, uh, usually it'll float to the top. I have a thermometer here. If you have a thermometer, you can check it with that. And it uh, might be a little hard to see. So you want to put it in the center. And really, it should be about 155. So we're definitely going to make our way up to 155. So we're good. So now, all we need to do is taste it and readjust the seasons. Okay, you can look at this and you're like, that doesn't look very appetizing. Well, that's what goes into the dumpling, but it really is better to cook it this way because that's the, that's the texture will be inside the dumpling. So me and Joey are going to try this. I taste ginger. Mm -hmm. I taste scallion. I want to say more salt. I'm sorry I'm talking my mouth open. But remember, that toy is going to come into play. So I say we hit it with a little bit more salt and we're good to go. Okay, so now we're gonna fill these dumplings. Uh, Joey here knows how to do this probably better than I do because she got to work with Sam a little bit more than I did, and so she knows how to do it, but we're gonna do the best we can to show you, and we'll probably uh, put a link here or somewhere, um, so, uh, or on gogarrettcounty.com to give you a better idea of how to do this. A couple things, you need water to seal your dumplings, and you don't want to overfill your dumplings, okay? And uh, so we'll get everything set up and then we'll show you. So this one's mine, doesn't look too great. And uh, this one's Joey's, which looks uh, fantastic. So we're gonna film uh, Joey showing you how to fold one and we'll try to talk you through it. And you just kind of tell me what you're doing. I'll try to, to repeat it, okay? You know what I'm saying? Are you recording? Okay, so obviously you do not have to have your prom fingernails to do this, but uh, Joey's gonna eat our dumplings, so it's no big deal. So I think the main thing is, right Joey, you want to get all that air out, right? So she's pushing to get all the air out. She's working her way from the bottom up, and then I think what she's going to do is going to flip it over once she's done, right? Oh, okay. And then how would you explain this? You're just... You're joining the corners. Yes. That is fantastic, Joe. Great job. Okay, we'll make some more and uh, then we'll show you how to cook them. Okay, so we have, look, we have some black vinegar here. We have something called sambal, which is like a red chili garlic paste. We have sesame oil. Can you use these for dipping sauces? Absolutely. But really, all you really need is this, if that's all you have. You can get this brand of soy sauce anywhere, and it's, it's great. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you something very, very simple. Um, it's just sugar, soy sauce, and then we have these these are called Thai bird chilies. They're a very spicy chili. Uh, they're great. If you don't have any fresh chili, you can use uh, crushed red pepper flake, and that works very well too. Won't be as hot. Um, and once start, things start growing, you can use jalapenos, you can use habaneros, but always be mindful when you're cutting chilies. Don't touch your eyes, because it, it, it could be uh, very dangerous. So let me cut these up, and we'll show you what it's going. So here we have um, this Thai bird chili, the sugar, and soy sauce. Once again, the, the sugar to soy ratio is really up to you. Um, we'll kind of post the amounts that we use somewhere right here beside you. Remember, it's just a guideline. Taste it and see what, what you like, and uh, you'll be fine. So now we're going to put in our dumplings. All right, now we're going to add the dumplings. Remember, you don't want a super rolling boil. You don't want to add too many or it's going to bring the temperature of the water down. So just set them in there. We're going to, I think we can get all these in here. 
and then people are going to ask, well, how long does it take? Um, usually what will happen is they'll float to the top when they're done. Um, but usually what I'll do after I drop them, I put a timer on four minutes. That way I know they're done. And everything's packaged in there. It's not going to hurt anything if they, cut, if they cook just a little bit longer. So we're going to put these in there. And then we are going to show you a couple of quick sides. So these are some greens that Allison uh, gave to us yesterday. Uh, and Allison, if I'm saying this wrong, I apologize. I know this is bok choy. This is tat soy or pak choy. I'm not sure which, but they're all delicious. They have a, a great flavor. And if you could zoom in a little bit on this, you see those holes? Yes. They're from bugs. This is organic produce, or as Allison says, visually organic. Trust me, you're better off a bug munching on this than knowing what's on stuff that's commercially produced with pesticides and all that stuff. So we're gonna cook these very simply right now. So these are also some radishes that she gave to, to us yesterday, and they're absolutely wonderful. And we're gonna saute some of these greens with the tat soy, pak choy, and bok choy. Did I get it? Okay, good. I thought about pickling these, and these taste so good on their own, I don't know why I would want to do anything with them but eat them the way they are. These taste so much better than a radish at the supermarket. They just have so much flavor, they're wonderful. Four minutes is up, dumplings are done. For these uh, greens, I'm going to try it again. Bok choy, pak soy, pak choy, tat soy. Okay, so um, I cut the thicker part of the stem off. But first, I'm going to take, I'm just going to use butter. I know that's not a traditional Asian thing. Okay, that might be a little too hot, but we'll make it happen. Come on. Now. We're gonna take the stems and put them in there and let them cook just for a minute. I was pushing it way too close on that butter. It's, it's a little bit brown, but it's gonna be okay. So we'll cook these stems just for a second. Okay, then I'm gonna hit this. A little bit of salt and pepper. And then throw these in. Oh, there's another stem. I'll eat it. So. That is good. I'm telling you, that tastes good. It really does. It tastes wonderful. I'm sorry I'm talking with my mouth open. But when I put a little bit of salt in that, it just brings out all the flavors. Wonderful stuff. So now. We're just going to hit this with a little bit of chicken stock. You don't have to. Uh, if you go to gogarrettcounty.com, we teach you how to make chicken stock as well. So just one quick hit. And then we're going to take this right to the plate. So here are our dumplings. Get that soy. We had to let them sit for a little bit. I don't like to overcrowd the plate. I like the way that looks, and then you can come back later for more. Okay, let's give it a try. Mmm. Spicy. A little spicy, but very good. All right, you ready? I don't know if this is pak choy, tak soy, could be bok choy, but it is all delicious and these radishes out of sight I'm glad we didn't do anything good they need to stand on their own all right here's Gabba she's the one who's filming so I know it's awkward it's good isn't it mm -hmm. it really is delicious so try dumpling you want to try dumpling Ryan you want to try dumpling get it in there that's spicy Gabba
I didn't want to tell her why. It's always on. Thumbs up. Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, a big thank you to uh, Joey and Noah. They had to leave uh, for helping out today. Uh, big thanks to uh, Molly Nickel and Abigail Bettina for filming. And um, the biggest thank you of all to Allison at Honeymoon Farms and to Catherine at Backbone Farms for supplying us with the product. It really made a difference.